Would you like some water, Miss Logan? I'm not going to play good cop, bad cop with you, Slogan. Where is he? Who's he? Your brother, Max. We know he's the dirtbag behind the six missing girls. Do I look like I would be the sibling of someone that would do something like that? We know he works as a janitor at PS337. It's the same school of all six missing girls. We also know that you got him the job political favor because of his criminal past, I assume? That doesn't mean anything. He's paid his dues to society already. Not if he's still out there committing crimes and having you help him cover it up. Your brother likes little girls. Nine to twelve years old, to be exact. You have an eleven-year-old daughter. How would you feel if something like this happened to her? I had nothing to do with that. Oh, oh so you didn't pay Linda Maple five thousand dollars to pass his background check so that he could get a job at that school and have access to all those young girls. And you want me to believe that he's innocent? You don't understand. Clearly I do, Sarah. He stayed with you when he got out of prison a few months back. And you were afraid that he would lock eyes on your little girl. And so you conveniently found an outlet for his desires. No. Stop wasting my time and tell me where your brother took those little girls. I don't know. You are just as guilty as he is. And when we catch him, you're going down with him. And I will make personally sure you never see your daughter again. Wait. If he's at the old church at Woodhill and Rose, they have an old basement there.